If you want to learn how to be a true asshole, these are the moves that you want to practice. No one will roll, no one will roll with you anymore. I guarantee you. <laughs> and welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to go over the top five most painful submissions in jujitsu. Um, and this isn't. You know, we didn't take a vote on everybody in jiu-jitsu saying these are the most painful ones. This is just my opinion. So I'd like to know your opinion down below which ones you think are the worst, but these are my top five. So let's go ahead and get started. Number five is the twister. So the twister, I'm gonna get control of the person's leg called the twister hook. So I get control of the ankle. This one's gonna go here, I get control. And as you can see from this twister position, what I'm doing, is I'm literally just twisting the person, you know, like a cinnamon crunch here. So I go here, I pull him, I get my tap, and it's a really nasty submission. So our next one is the body triangle. Now this is probably my favorite. Um, you could use it for control, but you could also do a submission. So when I get to this position here, what I'm doing is just triangle on the person's body. I'm doing the same motion here. You just poop yourself? Yeah, I had uh, a little bit of Mexican earlier. But as you can see, this is why this uh, is so painful. You know, when I get to this position, I really start squeezing. You know, it's just wrenching the person's gut. And sometimes they might poop themselves. So number three is the crotch ripper. So this one is extremely painful. Unless you're going against like Michael Jackson and the person can do the splits. You know, once I get to this position, I get control pretty much what I'm doing. And you can also really hurt someone's knee from this position. But I get control and I'm just trying to extend the person out until he taps. And, you know, and unless they're really flexible on their hips, this is probably one of the most painful submissions in Jiu Jitsu. It sucks to get caught in. So number two is the rib crusher. I remember when I first started Jiu Jitsu, Almost every single wrestler that came to jiu-jitsu, they would learn this move and they would just squeeze you as hard as they could. And this really sucks and it's probably one of the most uncomfortable things to be in. But from the guard position, what they're doing is pretty much just TP in the body. So they go here, they go right at your lower ribs, they'll get control and then they're just gonna straighten. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it really sucks. So what it's doing is just compressing your rib cage. You know, it can pop your ribs pretty easy. So it's a dangerous submission, but it feels really terrible. I, I feel like you're making like, the the like cook or the essential guide to how to be an asshole when you're holding <laughs> that someone's gonna watch this video and be like these are the only submissions i'm using from now on like, yeah. so if you want to learn how to be a true asshole these are the moves that you want to practice no one will no one will roll with you anymore i guarantee you <laughs> yeah this, most of these moves are completely illegal you know you can't do them but i always like to show them just because you know if you do super fights or something like that all submissions are legal, so you have to know them just in case someone puts you in them. Well, and, and some of them are legal. Like, you can put someone in a body triangle yeah. and squeeze them until they poop themselves. But again, <laughs> you know, during a day-to-day -day training session, it's, it's not optimal. It's not the most, yeah. uh, um, you know, cool thing to do to your partners. Yeah, they'll probably hate you. Yeah. Now, the number one most painful submission. Um, I chose this one because I absolutely hate it when someone does this to me and they get right on your jawline and your face. It's a face crank from back mount. So once we get to this position, pretty much what you're doing, if the person is tucking their chin, you're gonna go almost right below their nose and you're gonna get the same lock. So when I go here and start to squeeze, it pretty much will pop your jaw out of place. So this is a terrible submission. You should never do this in class. But if you watch like a lot of the advanced people right now, I don't know why I'm crossing my feet right now. It's terrible jujitsu. But I go right here. You watch a lot of the advanced people right now, they'll get to this position of the person's tucking their chin just because it was allowed in tournaments and they'll start squeezing and it sucks. And if you don't tap, it's gonna dislocate your jaw and your face is gonna hurt for a really long time. So with that said, the only submission that you can do in class is the body triangle and you still don't wanna squeeze your partners really hard. These are just the most painful five submissions, just so you know them, keep them in the back of your head. You can try them out in class, but be really, really careful and mindful of your partner. Remember the purpose of training is to train and not hurt your partners, is to use this stuff in competition when you're allowed. As always, no liabilities.